Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the Trit Fair and behind Zenith College. We meet at the Life Cathedral, but in the Zoe Chapel. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, molecules of jealousy. Molecules of jealousy. You know, when we're in school, they, they thought that, that matter is made up of molecules or atoms. Molecule, uh, molecules, then they break them down to uh, atoms. They break them down to electrons, protons, and then neutrons. And right now, there are many, many, many more uh, mesons and uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean, science is advancing so fast. But they are ingredients to matter. Or they are, that's what they are trying to say. They, they, there's a composition to to matter. I've come to realize that there are also ingredients to jealousy. And I like when I just say jealousy, you know. But guess what? I've realized that there are ingredients to um, jealousy. And you can find that out in the whole of First Samuel chapter 18 from 6 to 16 and then the whole of First Samuel chapter 19. And this talks about the jealousy of King Saul. The jealousy of Saul. And you know what? In looking at Saul very carefully, I began to see patterns. I began to see ingredients that made his jealousy. Number one, the first one I see, and I'll break them down, and probably we may do two or three sessions with this, because I really want to break it down for us to look at ourselves in the mirror of God's word and look at our lives. The first ingredient of jealousy that you can always see. The Bible says that from his shoulder upwards, he was taller than everybody. So you know what? He had the taller mentality. I must be bigger than everybody. I must, I, I, I am bigger than everybody. I am better than everybody. I must be better than everybody. There was an element of pride in him. There was an element of, I am better of. There was a, um, it, it was a manifestation of an inferiority complex, which was, uh, being portrayed as a superiority complex. But in actual fact, you realize that even when, when, when someone met him and to say the blah, 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 you know, he was recoiling from the, uh, the prophetic direction of someone. What I'm trying to say, the first ingredient is he must be taller than everybody. You know, in life, sometimes we think that we must be bigger. Why should they, why, why, why should somebody else, I must be bigger. I must have the biggest church. I must have the, you know, and all the things that come with it. I must be bigger than everybody. So Saul had this taller than everyone's mentality. Ev taller than everyone mentality. And that was it. And as a result of it, it just pans out into uh, the number B. You know, the, the number B is that you begin, you, you get unhappy with the praises of others. Saul was unhappy when David was being praised. The woman sang and said, uh, Saul has slain his thousands and David ten thousand. Meanwhile, David only killed one man. And that was Goliath. But the woman, you know, they added salt, sugar, and, you know, uh, ginger and garlic to it, you know, to make the whole thing, uh, you know, they blew it out of proportion. And by the way, it was, it was grace that handled Goliath. It was, David kept saying that you will know that you have touched the armies of the living God. That is, God will fight for you. Saul is unable to handle the, 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 the applause of other people. He's unhappy, you know, with the praise of others. So when somebody else is being praised, you, you have to find something wrong with that, that particular praise. You would always look for fault in the applause. There's a, there are manifestations of jealousy. And when, you know, sometimes when everybody is dancing, everybody is happy, you will begin to, because you're unhappy, you get it, something in you it doesn't get excited. Something in you doesn't get, I mean, doesn't get a high when other people are being praised. 
When other people are being praised, it rather, it rather uh, uh, annoys you, not just annoy you, it makes you uncomfortable with the praise of other people. That was one of the things that I found out. You're unhappy with the praise of other people. You can't, the next one is, you can't tolerate the success of others. You can't just tolerate the success of others. The success of others undermines you. The success of others makes you uncomfortable. The success of others make you, uh, make you jittery. The success of others make you think that the limelight is no longer on you because you must be taller than everybody. The success of others hurts you. The success of others, I mean, makes you uncomfortable. Whilst the whole of Israel had gone praising David, I mean, look at what he was saying. David's success made him uncomfortable. He, he, everybody was enjoying David. Everybody was basking in the limelight of David, including his brothers who had even opposed him and insulted him and called him a naughty boy. And they said to him, we know why you are here, because of the naughtiness of your heart. But guess what? They joined in the success story. They joined in and said, yeah, you know, that, that, that's my junior brother. You know, yeah, he's my junior brother. But you, Saul, no. He is uncomfortable with the praise of other people. The success of other people intimidates him. You don't see it as a kaleidoscope of glory that everyone can share in it. But look at what Saul said. He said, what more won't you do? You will take away the throne from me. Oh, man. That young boy is not thinking about your throne. He is just thinking about how to get married. When he came, he said, what shall be done to the man who kills this guy? He was going to prosper. He was going to get married. We we're going to marry the king's daughter. Those were his concerns. But you know what? The molecules of jealousy you carry makes it unbearable for you when other people hit marks of success. Something in you fights it. And that's not right. You know? These molecules of jealousy in you in the end is going to kill you. See you for part two.